Hey guys, long time no art video. This one's brought to you because one of the kids I worked with was really sweet and her mom gifted me a Target gift card and I was able to pick some things up. And this is the Bria Rees Watercolor Creams. It's the only art thing I picked up. The other things are a uh, plushie and conditioner. But, um, yeah, they gave me it. And so I won't be working with them next year. And they wanted to show their appreciation, and I nearly cried. So, um, I really want to do this video before some others I've had planned because um, I'm excited to try it. So, um, yeah. Let's get to swatching these babies. And then trying to do some kind of art with them. Okay, let's see how well this works. Um, the paper I'm using is by M A R S E I L L E S Studio. It's watercolor paper, so it should work since these are watercolor creams. And um, yeah. First one is yellow. Thank you. 
future editing teacher here passed me uh must have deleted some footage because there's no thoughts on this so i have to go fill you in on that and add some more info um this video is uh several months old at this point the intro was filmed around june of 2019 and the other part late july so um yeah and since then casey golden has done a video on these products i did not watch it but um she probably explains stuff better than i can but yeah this was done before i had the tripod so angles are kind of weird i apologize i want to redo this video in the future and kind of do something that makes me think of the kid whose mom gave me the gift card because she was sweet and i really like her and i miss her so i want to do something based on her she likes harry potter she likes books when i bought that i also got this new buddy that sits on my desk so yeah i want to do something i want to think about something that i want to do that involves stuff like that so um going back to my thoughts on the product um at first i really didn't get it because it said you can draw straight on the paper and you can and it will water do the watercolor thing but it also looks like crayon and you can't really do detail work with how big it is but you know maybe you don't really want to do detail work but you know if it can't smooth out with the water it's like why would you want to put directly on the page like that but i figured out if you get yourself a little palette and rub the color on the palette then water it up it's so nice and smooth i just like that way so much better you can also like wet the brush and put on top of the stick but it works but it's a lot more work than if you just rubbed it on the palette so you know i i do the palette thing if you wanted to try it and um i don't really remember much of my thoughts past that they are vibrant they are beautiful you just need to get over that learning curve of what works with these and what doesn't so yeah um overall i hope you guys enjoyed the video and um i'll see you in the next one this one will eventually be not necessarily refilmed but revisited in the future i don't want to get rid of the footage so yeah i will see you guys in the next one